The SYL 2615 is a Wi-Fi enabled dual pro PID controller designed for charcoal smokers and grills. Compared to SYL 1615 controller, it is one more temperature probe and programmable steps for autonomous cooking cycles. We offer an adapter plate to attach your blower into the damper door and secure it. So I'm going to show you how to attach that plate. I'm going to open my damper door wide enough to install my plate. Then I'm going to take the plate, slide it through the bottom, fit it in, and then slide it left to lock it and then push up. And then I'm gonna close my damper door to securely fasten the plate. Next, I'm gonna take my snap-on blower and then press the, the, the two springs together and just push it in. And just close on the, the damper door just to make sure it's really secured and fastened. With this controller, there are three blower control modes, PID Fan Speed Control Mode, or PID FS, PID Dual Cycle Control Mode, or PID PWM, and Manual Control Mode. The most suitable blower control mode for smokers like the Weber Smoky Mountain is a PID Fan Speed Control Mode, and PWM mode is for suitable for Kamado style smokers like the, green, the Big Green Egg. So now on the controller, I'm going to press set, press and hold set for three seconds. Then I'm gonna go down to system config menu and I can switch between uh, the blower control modes under the parameter M-O-D-E or mode. So I'm gonna click set to change it. And then for something like the Kamado um, style smokers or the big green egg, I'm gonna keep it at PID PWM. And then for Weber smoker, Smoky Mountain, I would change it to PID FS. Now I'm going to show you how to switch between your fan speed control mode and PWN mode in the app. So click the menu icon in the top right corner and then the system config menu will appear. MODE parameter will allow you to change your blower control mode. So I'm going to keep it at PID PWM, hit save, and then exit back to my default menu. Next I'm going to want to connect my Wi-Fi connection so you can click add a device here or the plus icon in the corner and then you need to make sure you have your SSID network name and password information readily available so I'm just gonna enter my information in here and then click connect device on the bottom here and now you notice the indicator switched from uh, flash quick flashing to slower flashing meaning it's now initializing and when it's solid it means it's connected so we actually have programmed pre-saved settings for the big green egg series smoker 22 and a half inch Weber Smoker Mountain and the 18 and a half Weber Smoke uh, Smoky Mountain along with three blank profiles for you to customize so if you want to recall these preset PID settings on the controller you're gonna to want to go into settings mode by holding set for three seconds and then going into the control settings me menu and then under the recall parameter, you're going to want to change it for uh, the big green egg or BGE, um, um, Weber Smoky Mountain 22 for the 22 and a half inch, and the Weber, Sm Weber Smoker Smoky Mountain 18 for the 18 and a half inch. So you can change that if you'd like. So we're just not going to have any uh, recall settings for now. And then just to go back, you can click the back arrow key. To recall the preset PID settings on the app, click the menu icon in the top right hand corner, then control setting, and then under the RC parameter on the bottom, you can select it for your respective smoker. Since we're using the Weber Smoky Mountain 18 and a half inch, we're gonna select that and then hit save and then exit out to our main menu. How do we set our basic cooking profile on the app? So on the most right hand corner menu icon, select system config. The cooking profile can be switched between single step and multi-step in the PRG parameter. Now turning it on will turn on your multi-step program. In the multi-step cooking profile, you can actually set up to three steps. So we're gonna hit save, exit out to our main menu, 
and then go into the menu icon on the top again and then click cooking profile. Now there are three steps you can adjust and then which criteria, which time or temperature um, that the, the controller moves on to the next step. So then we're going to adjust each of our parameters just to make sure we get our baby back ribs nice and cooked. So we're going to set the temperature to 225 degrees Fahrenheit, hit save, and then set our ending criteria to time. So we click ending and then time and then save. And then we're going to set our timer for, let's just say, three hours and then hit save. And then since we don't want our food temperature or any alarms to trigger, when it reaches our food temperature, we're not going to set anything for step one food temp. Then we're going to change our uh, step two uh, parameters. So I'm going to set it to 225 degrees, save it. And then change my ending criteria to time again. And then have my timer this time be 30 minutes. Then I'm going to hit save, and then I'm going to change my temperature for step three. Change that to 225 as well. And then I'm going to change my timer this time by turning it on and then setting it to 30 minutes. Now you can change this to whatever you want, to whatever recipe you'd like. In the controller, the pit high temperature, pit low temperature, and food temperature alarm parameters can all be configured in the control setting menu. So I'm gonna hit set and hold, and then enter control setting, and then AH pit is your pit high temperature alarm. So I'm gonna set that to 250 degrees. Next, I'm going to set my uh, pit low temperature alarm to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And then since we're not going to use our uh, food temperature alarm uh, to disable this function, you can set it to the highest setting or 999 degrees. And then we're just gonna click the back key to exit out. Now we're gonna set our temperature alarm on the app. So you click the menu icon, go into control setting. Now PAH is your pit high temperature alarm. And you can change this to whatever parameter you like. PAL is your pit low temperature alarm. And food AH is your food temperature alarm. Now I will demonstrate what the step finishing alarm sounds like after a cooking step in the cooking profile is completed. Now I'm going to show you what the program ending alarm sounds like after the cooking profile is complete. And as you can see, there's beeping and there's an END prompt on the display. If you need to mute the sound, you can click the back or timer key or you can restart your cooking profile by resetting it.